Here we have Mr. Nugget, an almost five week old AKC Bernese Mountain Dog puppy, born to the General and Whiz Bang. And I am demonstrating with the help of Mr. Nugget, our daily socialization protocols for body handling. This is something we do with each puppy here from the time they are 16 days old until they actually go home. And it's a good idea to continue this. It's just good desensitization to body handling for situations when you have to go to the vet or you're around children or other pets that don't have good dog manners. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is look in Nugget's ears. A vet will do that every time you go in for an exam. Make sure there's no foreign objects in there, no infection. He's got great ears. From there, I'm going to demonstrate putting pressure and manipulating each of his four feet. Good job. And from there, I'm going to manipulate each toenail. Now, our puppies get their first nail trimming when they're three days old. And every other day from then on until they're two weeks old. And that's to make the nurse, to make sure that they don't have sharp nails that are cutting into mama when they're nursing. And then once the puppies are two weeks old, they get their nails clipped with nail clippers every Monday when they get their Monday bath and their Monday blow dry in our grooming tub with our grooming blow dryer. So his toes, but he doesn't get bothered by me messing with his toes. I do have a cheat sheet here to make sure that I don't leave out anything while we're displaying this for you demonstrating this for you. From there, we are going to gently tag his skin. That doesn't bother him. Good job, Nugget. And then we're going to take a pin and we're just going to poke around, getting him used to the fact that he might get touched by things that he is not familiar with and it shouldn't alarm him and it doesn't. From there, we do what we call the nose bop where we just touch his nose with our finger and pretend to pinch it. And then we will take the pen and we will do the same thing. He's being playful and curious, but it's not scaring him at all. Good job. Good job, Nugget. Let's see what's next. Next, I will put him in the cradle position in my arms. You can have a good look at his chest and face from there. Say hi, Nugget. Say hi. Good job. From there, I'll just put him in a comfortable position on my lap and pet him. And then from there, we do something that they're not particularly fond of. Just for a few seconds, we hold them upside down to demonstrate to them that things in life that are uncomfortable don't last forever. And then from there, <laughs> I place him on his back and I give him a good old fashioned puppy belly rub. That made the hanging upside down for a few seconds totally worth it. I might mention that we do get help from neighborhood kids who have been properly instructed on good dog handling. Those neighborhood kids help us with these protocols from time to time. So it's not just me, their breeder, and it's not just Marlo, their their litter nanny. It's anybody who comes by to say hi will probably ask them to do these things and we'll give them good instructions first. From there, I give him a good old fashioned hug and I, I squeeze him, I hug him, I tell him that I love him. And from there, we check his collar, make sure that his collar hasn't gotten too tight. And it hasn't. We give it a tug, getting him used to when, again, he might be in an obedience class and get a light correction with a tug on his collar. That doesn't alarm him. Good job, Nugget. From there, I might mention what you're hearing playing in the background. Sounds like a thunderstorm. It's just a playlist, part of our de desensitizing playlist to all kinds of things. Right now, they're getting used to thunderstorm sounds, lightning, heavy rain, that kind of a thing. Okay, next we're going to put him up here and 
I'm going to give his tail a tug and a twirl, and I'm going to pull gently on his legs. That doesn't bother him. He's wanting the treats in front of me. That's okay, but we have to wait just a minute. So I mentioned that every Monday our puppies get a grooming from the time they're two weeks old until they go home. But every day they can get a little dusty or a little sloppy when they're playing. So we always wipe them down once a day with a wet, a warm, damp washcloth. Wipe their face. Good boy. Their chest. Good boy. Turn him around. Get his tail. Good job. Okay. From there, I'm going to check his eyes. Like a vet might do. That doesn't bother him. Going to check his teeth. He's got some. Can you see his teeth? And his gums are a good color. Gonna open his mouth, check his tongue. Good job. Then he gets rewarded with a little treat. Good boy. Good boy, Nugget. And before I'm done with Nugget, I'm going to demonstrate how now daily we work on teaching them to work for a treat by just sitting with this head up. In your head. Good boy. It's a little awkward for him right now because this is actually day one. But over the next several weeks, he's going to get a lot stronger with this behavior. And I only treat him on my terms, not his. He has to sit with his bottom on the, on the solid surface and his head up. And then he gets a treat. Good boy, Nugget. He likes the idea. Oh, you dropped it. Let's do it one more time real quick for the camera. Here you go. Sit. Good sit. All right. Good boy. And that is Mr. Nugget. Mr. Nugget. Good boy. Say bye.